Give me the latest. What are some names that are floating around right now? Well, honestly, man, like the perfect timing we had today. We're recording this yes. in late February, and right before we were about to record, uh, the news dropped from Korea Media Sources that the KFA is deep, deep in discussions with Jurgen oh, Klinsmann. Jurgen Klinsmann, that's right, the former USMNT manager, to potentially come to South Korea and become the new manager of the Tegu Warriors. Jack, your thoughts? <laughs> I'm going to say very concisely, I think it's a bad idea. Before oh. I give my thoughts, though, you're the Korean football expert. What are, what do you think? I know this is fresh news, so you probably haven't had yeah. time to talk to your homies about yeah. this yet. But you said you, you were kind of pro Klinsman to Korea. Can you smell what The Rock is cooking? I love it. We need this, bro. Like, I know, I know. we hype up, bro. Listen to me. We hype up Asian football, but that's because we know ball. Like these other pundits, they don't, they don't care about the region. And I, I hate to resort to like clown show tactics, but to get attention and, and grow the sport here, you have to have high profile names come here and, mm. and find success. Um, I'm not going to say that if we hire Klinsman, that he's going to be a slam dunk hire. This could actually go really, really wrong. Um it actually almost reminds me a bit of Tottenham hiring Mourinho a few years ago, and we know how that turned out. But it's it's a high risk, high reward proposition, in my opinion. Um, you know, knowing Jurgen, I actually followed his career career quite closely. I'm wearing a German national team jersey right now because it's one of my other favorite national teams. Um, you are a he was the, for the German national yes, team. Yes, yes, I am. And he was the head coach um, in 06 for that team when they had the World Cup on home soil. Did quite a good job leading them to the semifinals with a very young team. Um, he was criticized for not having, you know, the best tactical setup, but he was the guy who found Yogi Lowe. He was the one who promoted him to be his main man. Uh, he made, for the most part, the the right lineup decision, starting uh, young strikers and Lucas Podolski up top, uh, giving trust to young players and Bastian Schweinsteiger at the time, who I think was in his early 20s, uh, making the decision to drop Oliver Kahn and start Jens Lehmann in goal. And then with the USMNT, as Jack and I know when we were younger, he um, led us to the 2014 World Cup, um, led the USMNT out of the group of death with Germany, Portugal, and Ghana. Um, he did. And he, yeah, and I think maybe he got most of his lineups right. I think the one thing I didn't like was he played Michael Bradley a little too far up the pitch um, in a number 10 role, which wasn't suited for him. But uh, for the most part, I think he played the right center backs. He played the right goalie. He played most of the right forwards until Josie Altidore got hurt. I know his... Um, Later, like later tenure with the USMNT did not go well at all. But to be honest, even Bruce Arena couldn't get that couldn't get that piece of shit team to qualify to, to yeah. the Russian World Cup. It was a, it was Excuse a trash me. team. It was it was it, it was a, an emergency hire. Um, I get why he was, Clemson was fired. Yeah, you can't lose to Costa Rica in that matter. But again, I don't I don't think a lot of managers could have done much more with that that trash team. And listen, Klinsman is a guy, despite all his shortcomings, that isn't afraid to to transition new players into a national team setup and drop older guys that shouldn't be there anymore. He did that with Landon Donovan. I love Landon, but he probably also shouldn't have been at the 2014 World Cup. That was probably the right decision not to take him. So, again, he's messed up before. He had a terrible spell at Hertha Berlin where he got fired and trashed by the board. But if he likes living in Korea and he brings the right assistance, I'm willing to give this a shot. And I'm not going to say automatically, oh, he's going to fail. I think you raised some good points there. My question to you is, do you think that bringing in a guy like Klinsman, who I agree probably one of his best attributes is an eye for talent and also refreshing the squad, but do you think Korea needs to be refreshed? Like, I'm looking at the World Cup squad. It's not like you got a bunch of 34-year-olds running around. Like, it's a pretty yeah. young team in a, in a lot of areas of the pitch. I mean, obviously, you got guys like Lee gang in who should probably get more playing time. Hmm. I mean, Kim young Guan's like, what 32 or something like that you know? right right that's some 30 year olds but i don't see i don't see korea as like a dinosaur team right right you're right but the other argument to that is we are a young team with like you said young attacking talent coming up what better coach than a former world-class striker but by the way i don't think kids these days understand how good klinsman was in the 90s that man was a monster ask your dads about when he played my dad was a casual soccer fan and he raved about him growing up so dude knows ball um, and I think a lot of the players, despite his resume as a coach, would respect him. I think Son Min would love having him as a coach, getting to pick his brain, uh, get some tips from him as well. Um, so I think, honestly, yeah, we're not a dinosaur team, but I think 
he could be the guy to nurture these young attacking players. And that's really what he did with the German team in 06. You know, he nurtured guys like Lukas Podolski, Bastian Schweinsteiger, um, some other names off the top of my head, uh, a young per murder sacker in defense when he was a really young player, uh, a young Philip Lahm. So he's he's not a terrible development coach. Um, he's done some good things. I know with the USMNT, he, he did make some, like a lot of mistakes too with some of the guys he picked. But, you know, I, I think that he could be a good influence to some of our younger Korean players. And I think a lot of them will be starstruck having him in that locker room, honestly. Is now the time in the twilight of Sun's prime? Is now yeah. the time for a guy like Jurgen Klinsmann? Or do you get in somebody who in the last five or six years has just done a little bit more as a manager? Um, yeah, that is a good question. And honestly, the kind of the worst case scenario I think I could see playing out if, if he gets hired is he stays until 2026. He's the manager of that World Cup. And for some reason or another, he drops Son Min entirely from the squad. Like that that could be a possibility too. Like he he has the the cojones to do that. Um, he's a control freak. He is, he is. But I will not say like, oh my God, I'll hate him if he does that. If at the time Sony is what, 34 and he's washed up at that point, I will agree with that decision. Um, but if he isn't and he does that, then that will also be a problem. So there's, there's just too many variables right now. For Even if that means Na Sang Ho has to start? I mean, well, he did. I mean, you know, what? I'm going to eat crow. Now, Sango did very well for us at the World Cup. He was a very key player. Um, but I, I just think that there's too many variables right now for me to say whether or not he's a good coach for Sony. Like you said, though, he might be the wrong guy for him as he enters his mid 30s now. But he also could be the right guy in terms of building a relationship with him and gaining respect from him. Um, I, I think, again, the main thing here is you do not lose the locker room. I, I, the big reason why Bento had success, despite, you know, whatever shortcomings he may have had, is because the players bought in. They respected his resume, and they knew that he knew ball. And Bento as well was also pre a pretty damn good player back in the day um, in a similar era as Klinsman. So I, I think maybe that's what uh, the KFA technical, technical committee led by Michael Muller is aiming for here. Because to be honest, like Klinsman wasn't my number one choice. And right now, Jack, if you look at the available managers, there's not many guys left. The USMNT is also having a really hard time finding someone to fill that role. So I kind of get what they're aiming for here. Yeah, I think there's a, like I said, before we start talking about this, I feel like half of the notable national teams right now are looking for a manager. You know, we're going to talk about the Uruguay game later. They don't have a manager. Mm -hmm. Mexico just yeah. signed one, which I'm not particularly thrilled about. <laughs> U.S. doesn't have one yet. There's there's mm -hmm. a lot. There's uh, I'm sure there are other teams out there. Just, like, is, does Portugal have a manager yet? I don't know. They, they have um, a manager yes. yet. They, 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 hired, they hired Roberto Martinez. Holy shit, they did. I thought that was a nightmare. Yeah. No, no, that no, actually that was, happened. That You're real. right. No, yeah. Wow. We even talked about that on the pod. I got up at 4 a.m., yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Give me a break here. Yeah, no. You were not drunk. I was not drunk during that. Yes. Probably after that segment, yes. But Okay, so but you raise a really interesting thing with Klinsman that I hadn't thought about, and that's mm -hmm. he brings attention. And maybe mm -hmm. that's something that not just Korean football but Asian football could use more of. So mm -hmm. in that sense, I agree. I will upgrade my my rating, my excitement rating from a three and a half to a four and a half. But <laughs> wow. I still, dude, I think he loses the locker room. He, he's shown. I don't think he's put together like a cohesive team since he was in mm -hmm. what Bayern in Germany. I mean, he, it, he flamed out at Bayern too. The yeah. board hated him, at Bayern. Yeah. Yeah. The board hates him like everywhere by the end. Well, how let me ask you, Jax. How many games did he last so, at Hertha? uh like 10 less than games five, bro. like less than okay yeah sorry 10 games that's yeah like but but the thing with him like he's a vibes guy he's been living in newport beach for like years now i i think he's the type of guy who just doesn't fit club football so i again i i know that he had a terrible time at hertha but international football is a little different for him where he can for sure. take more time have to interact with these players every day um and i think it could be a nice where he would, you know, five more, I guess, with the players. But, but you're right. No, it's a valid point. Um, I I do want to ask. I was also curious because, um, after the 2014 World Cup, I kind of waned in my interest in the USMNT. Let me ask you: Did did Klinsman also start to lose the locker room a bit after that World Cup when they started going to qualification, or was the reason he got fired just because of the results, or was it also just internal issues as well? You From remember? what I've seen, the initial spark is the Lane and Donovan situation where he doesn't call him up 
and also the fact that he had like a strong preference for like the German Americans. Mm, Apparently, that okay. like kind of split the locker room a little bit. Ah, uh, right. I remember now. Yeah, and the MLS players didn't like that, right? Yeah, they didn't like it. Yeah. There was like some allusion to there being preferential treatment. I don't think that happens okay. in Korea because, I mean, correct me if I'm no. wrong, there's not too many Korean German prospects just like walking no. around in the Bundesliga no. too. Um, but it, 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 and you're right, international football is different. I don't think it would be horrendous. It is very high risk. Like it very is. risky, and I don't know if I associate Korean football with high risk decisions like that. I think they'll be a little more calculated. They'll go for something yeah. a little more boring, a little more Hajime Moriyasu. Yeah, you know, something that's predictable. Well, that's what I think. Well, is gonna 